So you want to make a procedural grid world in Unity like this? I'll tell you how to do that, or at least how I did that, for my game. Have you heard of my game, by the way? Or Orsted. So anyway, make a Unity project. Create a game object. Call it grid. Attach a script. Call it grid. The grid will be full of cells. So make another script. Call it cell. And open it. Remove. A cell will contain information like, in my water, in my land, as represented by this bool, is water. Now open the other script, grid. It will contain an array called grid. It will have a size. Let's go with 100. And it's full of cells, water cells. Now what? Let's make it do something. Let's make cubes. With this code, it draws cubes. Blue for water, green for not water. Let's see if it works. It works. It's all blue because everything is water. But what if it's not water? Now it's all green because it's all not water. Now how do we make it procedural? Perlin noise. It's noise, but smoother. Open your script. Grid. Make a 2D array of floats called noise map. Fill it with Perlin noise, scaled by some factor called scale. Noise map will tell us what's water and what's not water. We'll set the water level 0.4. Anything under 0.4 is water. Anything over 0.4 is not water. Now it looks like this, but it's the same every time. We want it to be different, not the same. So go back, add a random offset to the noise map. Now it's different every time. Wow. wow. But it's not islands. You were promised islands. Let's make islands using a falloff map. Open grid. Make an array of floats called falloff map. Fill it with math that looks like this. Now subtract the falloff map from the noise map. Now it looks like this. That's it. Islands. But it doesn't look nice. It doesn't look like this. You were promised this. Watch part two. I don't like or subscribe. Have you heard of my game, by the way? Or stead.